Here we're about um, 60 feet getting on. Oh, way on. more than that. Are we? Yeah. Sorry, but yeah. Yeah? That's, that's fine. <laughs> I'd say... I'm quite good, you see, at judging 90. height looking up. It's looking... I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's definitely way more than 60. Now, it's one thing to climb up a building with something solid to grab hold of, but it's altogether different to step out onto something like a piece of string. Wow, Jonathan. Yeah? You Looking good. You are going to love this. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. I mean, architecturally, I'm. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you know? Did you see? You see the whole seating plan in one go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. This the... is amazing. I, th I think you made a valuable contribution to the choir there, Luce. That <laughs> yeah. Du double whoop. I forgot. We're in a it echoed well. All right. Here we go. Lucy makes it look so easy, but this is only my second climb. And frankly, I find it a bit scary. Ye gods, that is disconcerting. You can hold the line where the pulley is. Just oh, that's be better. careful that the pulley doesn't go into your fingers. Now that's a funny feeling. Because it's quite springy up here. And um, it's like being on some kind of giant trampoline. <laughs> oh my, that is so high. The reason I'm dealing with all this fear is to get a good look at the stone ceiling, or vault as it's known. It's made up from a series of crisscrossing stone arches, called ribs. These are the earliest surviving rib vaults anywhere, not just in Durham, we're talking about the whole of Europe. And they do two important things. Firstly, they get out of the idea that a vault has to be a stone shell of a consistent thickness, just like half a cylinder, and instead the vaults are conceived as a series of ribs. It's rather skeletal. It feels like you're in a giant whale's chest or something in here. It's beautiful. To make this beautiful vault level, the masons had to build the transverse arches higher. So they invented a brilliant new idea, the pointed arch. So ironically, when you walk into this most Norman of all cathedrals, you have this forest of pointed arches ahead of you. And what it points toward is the Gothic age. It's hard to believe that changing the shape of an arch could have such a dramatic impact on architecture. But it's true to say that without it, such beautiful, vast and inspiring spaces would have been impossible to build. I've got to say, once you get over the bendy, squashy ropes and the fact that they seem to be going somewhere when you first step on them, you know, once you sit here and it, and it takes the tension, it's actually incredibly peaceful.